Tragedy in Queens today when a woman was hit and killed by a pickup truck while out walking with her granddaughter. It's the latest in a disturbing rise in traffic deaths. CBS 2's Ali Bauman live tonight in Whitestone with more. Ali. Jessica and Maurice, I spoke to the victim's son a short time ago. He was too upset about his mother's death to go on camera, but said, thankfully, the baby girl is going to be okay. Police say the driver had a suspended license when he hit the woman and baby in this crosswalk. Surveillance video shows 58 year old Insook Roll walking with her 19 month old granddaughter at the crosswalk when a white pickup truck attempts a left turn. We are freezing the video before the impact. I see the baby and the, the lady was in the floor. The, tr the stroller was like, like um, you know, bottles was in the floor. The lady was full of blood and then the kid was the had bruises. Was, yeah, it was sad. This happened just after 10 a.m. Thursday on the Cross Island Service Road at 150th Street. The driver stayed on scene. Video shows him pull over after carrying the victim to the sidewalk and then clear the stroller from the street. This is the second woman hit by a car at this intersection in less than two months. I drive here a lot here, and it is bad. The city should either put a speed camera up, speed bump something, just to help the safety of the pedestrians. Citywide, 122 people have been killed in vehicular crashes so far this year. That's up 39% from the same time last year. Danny Harris is the executive director of Transportation Alternatives. Right now, we're on track to be the deadliest year since Vision Zero was launched. Our numbers have been up three years in a row in terms of traffic fatalities. When we asked the mayor about this, his office referred us to comments from two days ago. People turned back to their cars in this pandemic and then they started driving recklessly and that's unacceptable. Vision Zero works. It has to be applied more and more and more. Quite simply, our new mayor needs to prioritize people over cars. Police arrested 43-year-old Angelo Grassi. He is charged with aggravated unlicensed operation, failure to yield to a pedestrian, and failure to exercise due care. We're live in Whitestone, Queens. Allie Bauman, CBS2 News.